Hey guys, it's Chris Chris again, here with a quick hair update. Wanted to let you guys know what happened to my locks. So recently I've been noticing, well, no. Today, in fact, when I went shopping, I'm gonna do a shopping haul afterwards. Today when I was in like the fitting room, I was noticing my locks and I realized I was looking in the mirror and you know it's a lot brighter than my actual room lighting so I was like oh my gosh are my locks blonde so obviously my locks turned blonde in the back where I had the red and so usually my complaint is that the red goes from red to brown brownish orangish now it's like blonding like golden honey blonde and so because like okay maybe i don't i don't remember like a week or two ago a friend of mine um <clears throat> said chris you know like your locks are, are blonde now and i was like okay like obviously this person's colorblind and i didn't pay attention to it until this past weekend when i went on my camping trip um, someone made a comment and was like, you know, I really love your locks. And I think my favorite part of your locks is the back, the whole blonde part. And I was like, what's everyone talking about? In my head, I'm still thinking like, you know, it's just this awkward brownish, but it wasn't. I'm going to just show you guys what I'm talking about. You guys see that? I'm going to really try to let you guys see still free forming by the way but guys seriously look at this like if you really can see that like look 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 at this this is freaking blonde do you guys see that like blonde no lie you guys think i'm joking like it's blonde like the tips used to be red and at least and now it's like full-blown blonde okay i'm gonna try and give you guys a glimpse okay okay so hopefully you guys you saw that all right you know like i don't understand but anyways i'm gonna show you guys real quick some of the things that I bought for my hair. Cause tomorrow, I'm recoloring this blonde, cause that wasn't part of the plan. I'm going red, I'm doing manic panic again. Um, rock and roll red this time. I'm starting to think that this is because um, of the fading over time, along with the um, <clears throat> along with what the sun like the rays of the sun i did get a lot of sun exposure this summer so you know i guess you know it was kind of called for but not blonde like that's just od you know so i'm going with this it looks really scary now that i'm putting it up like it looks like it's gonna be too red i'm kind of scared and I was going to bleach my hair. Remember I told you guys I was going to bleach it? But being that it's already blonde, what is the point of me bleaching it, right? So there goes that idea. And hey, you know, it keeps some money in my pocket. I won't have to spend like what? I think it's like 8 or $9 for the bleaching kit, the Manic Panic bleaching kit. I mainly wanted to bleach it for like the, um, the roots area because I know the ends will take obviously but it's really blonde like to the point where my hair strands look blonde it's scary so yeah guys i guess over the course of time all these many colors that i've colored my hair it's finally um taking a toll on my hair <laughs> and so yeah but um i told my sister my younger sister already that I am planning to um, go all black, maybe like a jet jet black with the Manic Panics Raven Black, which is like real black, like hardcore black. And so I'm planning to do that maybe all over my head. 
depending how this red comes out and then do like little red strands um, red locks like um, all over the place like random either that um, probably for my anniversary which is September 25th my second year anniversary um, but some of the products that I use um, I just bought yesterday to help me take care of my colored hair now is this big old thing it was only $9.99 um, I bought this big thing only because they didn't have the little one um, I never buy shampoo and conditioner like this in bulk because um, I'm always changing my shampoo and conditioner um, this is Garnier Fructis um, fortifying shampoo it says reinforce active fruit concentrate vitamins b3 and b6 fructose plus glucose and it says big boldly color shield color shield okay it says for color treated or highlighted hair with UV protectant helps provide lasting color so we're definitely trying this especially after I retouch my black in September because I've been noticing the black starting to turn brown I bought <clears throat> Burt's Bees color keeper conditioner has green tea and fennel seed um, says this wonderfully natural formula starts with coconut and marula oils to create a conditioning complex that is one of the most effective and gentle available green tea extracts pro extract provides natural uv protection from sun damage to maintain your hair color fennel seed and sugar ester naturally moisturize and condition color treated hair leaving it naturally shiny vibrant and full of color so it's paraben free and phthalate free gonna use this I didn't get the shampoo only because I had the Garnier fruit tea shampoo but um yeah I bought the color keeper from Burt's Bees and I also bought another conditioner that I really think might help it's called painting Provine, the red expressions um, line it's a daily color enhancing conditioner it says auburn to burgundy for red shades the back of my hair it says restores vibrant and keeps reds looking truer longer designed for natural color treated or highlighted hair and so it says apply to wet hair after shampooing and comb through with fingers obviously I can't comb my hair but you get what it means uh, it says there's also a shampoo but of course the beauty supply did not have it um, Yeah, so I'm going to use this also, mainly in the back of my hair. Um, I bought some almond oil, some hair nets. You know, I use hair nets a lot. Um, but I also bought this, the Cream of Nature Argan Oil Gloss and Shine Polisher. It's argan oil from Morocco. Instantly shines, smooth, strengthens, and controls frizz. Um, one of the main reasons I bought this was to give my locks a shine from time to time, like when it just looks dry and it's really not dry and people are not about to go and squeeze my locks to say, hey, you know, it really does have moisture. You just want it to look moist, moist and, you know, healthy. I'll use this and um, <clears throat> with this as well, it will help keep my hair from frizzing. Doing this free form, I realized that I do like how the free form comes out um, and how you know much my hair has grown. <sighs> I have to take my hair out again. Okay, um, my hair has grown a lot with the free form. I have tons and tons of new growth. My new growth is to about here. Now yeah, that's a good amount, you know. But yeah. So I washed my hair last week, and then I'm going to wash it again this week. But basically, that is it. That's all for my hair updates. Please watch my other videos. I'm posting something about my acne um, improvements, my journey to a real face, and a shopping haul. I went shopping. Yay. All right, guys. God bless. See ya.